What if you close your eyes and imagine a world without light? It would be terrible, wouldn't it? But this is the kind of environment in which most drugs and pharmaceuticals are created. Most drugs actually are produced in dark reactors, using heat as a source of energy and metals as catalysts or reductants or oxidants. And while heat can actually decompose some of the molecules, metals must be carefully removed with great struggle, and both of these aspects are not environmentally friendly. But hey, there's an alternative. In my PhD research, I'm actually developing new reaction using light as a source of energy to produce these pharmaceuticals, and in particular, visible light, which is safer compared to ultraviolet. To do this, I need a photocatalyst, which is, bright, which is a bright molecule that absorbs light and gets into a higher energetic state. From here, it can either transfer the energy to the starting materials or um, exchange an electron with them, transforming the raw materials into the final product. However, after this step, the photocatalyst needs to be restored. And this is generally achieved using external uh, oxidants or reductants, but not in my reactions. As redox neutral reaction, which is just a fancy name to call them, uh, I'm actually converting the raw materials into an intermediate with the aim of the photocatalyst, and then this intermediate restores the photocatalyst, delivering itself the final product. I strongly believe that this kind of reaction will finally make it into the chemical and pharmaceutical industry, triggering a revolution that will diminish the big environmental footprint and chasing away this industrial vampire that is still polluting our planet. But actually, this revolution has already started. As shown in briefly in my uh, slides, a photochemical industrial reactor was built by Sanofi here in Italy for the production of artemisinin. As you may know, artemisinin is one of the key drugs for the treatment of malaria, which is still one of the biggest health issues around the world. Artemisinin, which, is, which was worth a Nobel Prize in 2015, can actually be extracted from Artemisia annua, but tons of plants are required to get just 1% of artemisinin. But with this kind of reactor, just tons of artemisinin. And this is one example, but more are yet to come. So, in the, future, in the next future, which conditions should be used to produce pharmaceutical active ingredients? Darkness or light? Thank you.